Wind Wild just keeps doing it, man. All right, so Wen Well has released yet a new collection and I had to get my hands on it because I love Wen Wild. The thing about this collection, I guess it's called, what's it called? It has a name. It's called their Pump Active line and it's basically geared towards athletes, which I am not, but I did go on a walk the other day and I did have some cardio. So I have burned some calories. I do stay active. Regardless of whether I'm the most athletic person in the world, which again, I'm really curious to try out this new line because I love Wen Wild. I think they come out with like really cool products and I've always been a fan of their collections and I have found that they're one of those brands that when they drop new collections, they have consistently good products to the point where it almost hurts you that some of this stuff is gonna be limited edition. So I really wanted to test it out. I know I'm not the only girl on the planet. I am aware of that. And I know there are a lot of athletic women out there because it is supposed to be geared for, you know, the active woman who is on the go and and getting it on the reg, you know what I'm saying? Chasing that money, getting that bread, bringing home that bacon, stacks on stacks on stacks. I actually picked everything up from my local CVS. CVS had all of these products. First product I picked up from theirs is Wet n Wild Partner Up Cooling Moisture Stick. I think this is like their version of a primer, but also kind of like a refreshing item for the skin. Like, you know, after you work out, apparently you're sweaty or something kidding and you just want something that's gonna be cooling and refreshing so that was the idea behind this product so i'm just gonna go ahead and put this all over my face Ooh, i feel like i'm putting deodorant all over my face or like a glue stick next do the spritz cooling face and body mist so this is a refreshing mist also i guess like a face primer probably also some sort of setting spray i have so many setting sprays and yet i feel like i don't have enough or i need more and just the fact that this is also meant for the body that's pretty titties i love the fact that they are so inclusive as a brand like they're not just thinking about the girl who wants to get glam or the girl who wants to get grunge no they're thinking about that girl that like wants to get them squats in and wants to get that fitness the only squats i do however are like you know when you squat down to look what kind of food you have in the fridge 10 sets a day baby this has like a mint like a minty feeling a real refreshing feeling it does have menthol again that's probably where i'm getting that like really nice refresh let's go back to the castor oil real quick though that's um interesting next product is the the wet wild pump makeup locker three in one bb cream this has a highlighter and a corrector in it so the corrector is meant to cancel out your dark under eyes so basically to cancel out the look of exhaustion so i am actually going to go ahead and apply that but i'm going to go ahead and apply it right now for my foundation could do it after i just find that this works the best for me i want to listen to miss new booty <laughs> So brows are done. So about this foundation, it's actually a BB cream. It says it's a BB cream, which I think that's really awesome that they went that route. I think they're just going towards the idea of I want something to make myself look put together, even my skin out, maybe cover some imperfections, etc., etc. The thing about this thing is, I got mine in the shade medium, is I do not like this applicator. And this is the exact same applicator in their Wet n Wild Photo Focus. It also comes with the spatula. And I don't really appreciate the, the, um, the spatula in my foundations. I think it's really dirty. I think think a pump is just fine and with the name like pump and your foundation doesn't come with a pump it feels like a real missed opportunity for me fam also why again why with the spatula so it's called the sheer bb cream already in the name it's telling me it's three in one it's a BB cream and it's not gonna have the highest coverage. Totes, love that. It comes in six shades. You guys really could have done better with that one while, but I get that it's a BB cream and it's not meant for a foundation. And typically BB creams are, try to run them as more universal tones because they aren't meant to be foundations. And it reads, The innovative three-in-one design provides you with an imperfection softening BB cream, a glow boosting highlighter, and a peach color corrector to knock out dark circles done that conveniently packaged in a travel friendly component for beauty junkies and fitness lovers on the go benefits cruelty free and that's about it truly we love the honesty i'm just gonna apply it Ugh, todd this 
spatula. So it's definitely sheer for sure. I don't mind this at all. I like for my skin to just be even and like look like one cohesive shade. So this for me, I love. I couldn't be more tits up about this. For those of you guys who want to see if it builds up a little bit more, I am going to go ahead and just apply a couple more dots and see if it builds up just for those of you guys who are curious. It honestly actually looks really good. I really, I like it. This is good. Baking done. Bronzer done. Some contour done. Let's go ahead and rewind. I think a week ago I posted uh, my review of the Rebel Rose collection. Really good collection, by the way. Um, and I came across this, which I did not come across the first time I went to the store to pick up stuff. The CVS I went to did have it. This is the Wen Wild Color Icon Cream Blush in the shade Rose and Peace. Clever. And apparently... This is supposed to shift colors. This looks black, you guys. Like this, look at that. That is black if I've ever seen it. And supposedly this is supposed to transform into an incredible blush. It could absolutely shock me or it could ruin this entire makeup. And it's a cream blush. Oh lord, it is even coming off as black. Yo, Went Wild got into that brujeria stuff, man. Look at that. What? I will say, don't, no, use your actual fingertips. The heat from the fingertips will help you blend this formula a lot easier. That's nuts. I look like the Annabelle doll. All right, so this look kind of took a turn. So we went a little heavy on the blush. I'm gonna go ahead and use this highlighter that came in the BB cream bottle. Since our skin is a little damp, I'm just gonna go ahead and still apply it with my finger. Not terrible. I, we were looking a little better before. I'm just, I don't know, I'm just used to powders and I'm a creature of habit and I will work with what I know. The last thing I do wanna try out is their Keep Going Wet n Wild Pump Eyeshadow Stick. I love products like this. I got mine in the shade Mud Run. Just a, such a one swipe and done type of product and you don't really have to think about it. You could literally just use your fingers and then you're done. You don't really have to worry about brushes or anything like that. And I love a bronzy like taupey eyelid. So this I can get behind a thousand percent. This so that pretty much completes this review just to cover all my bases I like the concealer it worked the highlighter I don't think I'm gonna use ever again while it's pretty while it's glowy I think on my skin it makes me kind of look bruised unless I'm in the light you see like it's just not very flattering it's pretty and it works but it's just not for me so I'm gonna pass on that the spray I can definitely get behind the spray I can definitely get behind I love the idea behind it that's the thing though I think I love the idea behind this entire collection but what I love more is the fact that wet and wild is so inclusive and they're always trying to do something different their packaging is dope their theme is dope their names are adorable I'm just with it the blush like I said I don't think I'm gonna continue using this but this was dope like I love the idea behind it it's just cool like it's just one of those things that it's like I respect it I don't gotta love it I don't gotta wear it all the time but I respect it that's gonna be it for me though I love you guys let me know what your favorite product out of this entire review was if you've tried anything let me know if you liked it and you guys know the deal go ahead start a conversation in the comment section i love that and i love you guys with all my heart and all my skin and i will see you in my next one <laughs>